All right, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Calvin Holloman doing this etiquette video for Disability and Society. Um, I'm doing the video on a person, man or woman, with a disability or handicap that uses a wheelchair or you know some sort of some sort of a motorized chair. We don't really have a wheelchair in our house, so I just got some plates. You know, has to improvise. This is my brother Vincent. Vincent, say hello. Hey, what's going on, you all? <laughs> okay, so um, first, let's start with the stereotypes about a person who uses a wheelchair. First of all, people think that wheelchair users are chronically ill or sickly. This is not the truth at all in any type of way. This is be quiet. Um, the reason people think this is because we always tend to think the worst or, you'll, or we've seen something where there would be real life or on TV. So we think, oh, everybody that's in a chair, they have a serious major issue. They can't comprehend things, something like that. He can easily just, you know, have had surgery on his legs and has to use a wheelchair. Doesn't mean he can't comprehend anything I'm saying. Doesn't mean he can't do anything. He's basically a human being. He's perfect. He's perfectly fine. Whether he had to use a wheelchair or not. <clears throat> the second stereotype. He's not confined to a wheelchair. Let's say he was handicapped, like I said, and had surgery on his legs for something that have had happened in his past. Does not mean he spends the rest of his life in a wheelchair. Whether he needs assistance or not, he can get out of the wheelchair. He can sit on a couch. He can sleep in a bed. The wheelchair is not his home. He can do different things. He's not confined to a wheelchair. All right, and um, a third stereotype is what a lot of people think because, you know, we like to do things for people we want to help. So the first thing we'll do for a person who uses a wheelchair, we'll think, oh, they need help. Let's go assist them. Um, sir, let's just imagine he's rolling. I know it's hard to do. Okay, well, thanks. Great, great. Let's say he's rolling. Um, let me think. There's a, a curb. There's no way for him to get up on the curb. He was crossing the street. You know, it's basically hard for him to do. If I just walk up, the first thought is, oh, let me help you. I'd grab his chair and lift him up so he can get up on the curb. Yes, an extremely nice gesture, but he might be really offended by that. So he's a human. You ask first to assist them. I can't just walk up to him. I can't just grab his chair because he doesn't know who I am at all. Ask to assist them. All right. <clears throat> the things that should be done. Those are the stereotypes. Some of the things I did kind of sort of explain what should be done, but these are the things that should be done with a person, man or woman, who uses a wheelchair. You focus on the person, not their disability. You see, most of this video wasn't focused on the entire chair. I've been in on Vincent. If I were to speak to Vincent, I'm not looking at the chair. I'm not bringing up, oh, what happened? I'd be getting to talk to him. Oh, hello, what's your name? How are you doing today? Things like that. I shake hands. If this is the first time I met him, I came up to him, I shake his hand as if there was nothing wrong with him at all. Show a shine of respect. Um, like I said before, you ask the person if they need assistance before you just up and walk and grab their chair or get to doing things. Vincent, do you need assistance? Something as simple as that. Just ask. 
one thing you definitely don't do, let's say using the handles back here, I come up next to him, I get to leaning on him or leaning on the chair, that's extremely disrespectful. That's like the equivalent of somebody coming up to your car and sitting on the trunk while you're in the car. You don't do that. That's just common sense. You don't lean on somebody's share. I don't think I've ever seen somebody do that. But, you know, I'm pretty sure people do do it without even thinking about it. You speak directly to the person. Like I was saying, if I come up to Vincent, let's say he does have somebody with him that assists him. That's an imaginary person. Where my laptop is, that's an imaginary person that assists Vincent with things he does. If I walk up to him, I make direct contact with him. I speak directly to him. I don't look over here at the other person. Oh, hey, blah, 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 blah. No, I speak directly to Vincent. Also, <clears throat> after long conversations, let's say I was, hmm, somewhere, let's say I was Vincent's doctor or something. I know we're going to have a conversation or like a social worker. I don't know. Somewhere is a conversation, a lengthy conversation. First, it was just a simple one. Now, four or five minutes go by. Something simple. This is all you do. After a while, you get eye level with the person. You take a seat to make it comfortable for you and the person. So he doesn't have to keep looking up. And I don't have to keep looking down. At the same time, I feel like that's a, a powering thing. You're looking over somebody. I don't like that feeling, you know, with anybody either. So I can understand how it is for a person with a wheelchair. So you come eye level with them and you speak to them. Something you definitely don't do, I think this should go for pretty much any person, disability or not, pat them on the head, all oh, things are gonna be good. You know, pat them on the leg, oh, you'll be better, things like that. You don't pat anybody. That's, to me, one of the ultimate signs of disrespect, patting somebody as if they're a pet, like they're less of a human or something, like they're basically an animal. That's kind of sort of what that equals to. You wouldn't go pat a girl's head because now you're just asking to get snapped off on. <laughs> so the thing I want to wrap this up with is uh, it's okay to actually use terms such as, you know, oh, let's take a walk to the store. It's not, as I'm saying it, as in a joke, but... Okay, let's take a walk to the store. When he hears that, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. He's not thinking of it, oh, I'm joking with him. Clearly, I know Vince is a man. He uses a wheelchair. Okay, we're just going to the store. He just wants me to come to the store with him. I wasn't trying to infer that, oh, well, you're in a wheelchair. You can't get up and stand up and walk with me literally to the store. To him, walk... It's the same to me walking with my legs. Him walking is the same as using his wheelchair. So these are the simple things that can be done that honestly would make things a lot easier, a lot comfortable for somebody, you know, who uses a wheelchair. And that's the end. I hope you enjoy my video, Vincent, you know. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> um, hopefully, people, you know, learn some proper etiquette. Definitely. This is something that can go a long way. Thank you and have a blessed day.